question I get all the time is how much scent and what kind of scent do you put on your mock scrapes? You know, obviously I have lots of videos out there. I've been writing about uh, mock scrapes. I think my first article I wrote back in, uh, oh boy, it's probably 2008, 2007. I called it to pee or not to pee. Pretty clever, right? But the bottom line, mock scrapes work. And at that time, um, mid 2000s, I was putting out jack pine mock scrapes and roughing them up during August and using those jack pine boughs and, and then put a camera on it and I get a, start to get an inventory of all the bucks in the area. In fact, a lot of times they use it with it just a few days. So people would say, you know, what did you do to get that, that uh, buck attracted to that location? Well, there's one thing, of course, it's gotta be a flat area. I like using known travel routes. In fact, this particular route right here, and I'm gonna get my, my years mixed up, but I believe it was four years ago, there's a tree stand all the way back behind me. It's 34 yards. I know it's 34 yards because I shot a mature buck that was going through there that I believe was six years old, right around that 160 inch range. Beautiful buck, shot him the last day of gun season with my bow, and he was right behind, you know, I was right behind that tree stand. He was right here. This was 34 yards. He's slowly coming through here. And he was going to a natural scrape that was right in this location. So a lot of times we're not reinventing the wheel. We have a stand location now here. We have a stand location there. We have a stand location over there. I'm putting one over there. We have a lot of movement that comes through through this hub right here in different directions and points and elevation changes. And this mock scrape is at the center of it all. Scent wise though, here, just raked it out. It's in a, it's in a spot the deer would use normally anyways. It's in their travel corridor. Uh, it's in their daily travel routes. In fact, deer that come through here, a lot of times if they're walking through here, they're gonna hit their head on the vine. And so bucks, does, fawns, they all use it. And for that, they wipe their glands on the end of this vine right here. And that's how they can communicate. That's how they know what other deer were here. Now it might be said that I could spray something, use a powder, a gel or something on this vine to enhance it. But from what I've seen since the early 2000s, just putting the licking branch in the right location, clearing out the spot below where you're gonna make that scrape, putting it in natural progression. And then of course we put a camera on it with HD video and we record this and bring it to you guys just to show you. I use zero scent. Sometimes um, I'll actually pee on the scrape after we make it and that's usually mid July, August. But other than that, I'm not touching this. I'm not touching it during the hunting season. I don't re refresh and people say even with peeing, how often do you go back and pee on that scrape? And I don't pee on it during the hunting season. I, I leave this area alone. In fact, right now I'm standing close to this because of the camera work. I don't even like touching it. Because imagine what other scents are on this vine from every deer that comes through here and wipes their orbital glands, whatever glands that they're wiping on here, around their eyes, around their antlers, around their nose, whatever scent they're leaving on here, I want it to stay. And you could even make a case that depending on what you're spraying on that, maybe you could wash it away or mask it. I don't know if that's the case or not. I'm sure there's some type of enhancement out there that might work a little bit better than just allowing deer to rub their scent on it. But hey, natural is always the best. That's why I use a vine like this. It'll last for years. Um, the vines seem to hold a lot of scent. They're fairly soft. And so I like that. I use jack pine branches, you know, in, in up north properties. Oak branches can work too, but I like hanging them like this. It seems like every deer that comes by not only rubs and leaves scent on it, but then at the same time, you can maintain this fine for four to five, I have some of them are five, six years old. So great way to make a mock scrape at the same way, at the same time for enhancing that. Hey, nature's best usually. The natural way is usually the best when it comes to fooling a mature buck. And I found that by doing nothing, I can let this vine accumulate with scent from every deer that comes through the area, including does and fawns. And I want this to be a stinky mess during the hunting season with a lot of different deer leaving their scent. And of course, I have a tree stand right here. We have a camera right here and we'll bring it to you during hunting season. I love mock scrapes. I hope you do too. Think natural is best and I think you'll be on the right track.